folks, it's Brenda again. I'm gonna talk to you about how to make sure your puppy is eating and drinking good. Um, we typically will sell you the food that they've been on. Uh, we also have lots of toys here for sale, leashes and collars, and uh, we love to sell these shin bones and rib bones for inside their crate so that uh, they also uh, will keep busy with chewing on a bone, plus chewing calms them and it gives them something to do in general, helps them really love the crate better. Uh, but one of the other things I want to talk about is the food. And it's super important when your puppy is small, when it makes this big stressful change, which also can turn their poo kind of, you know, soft, even blood in their stool. Actually, the first time or two that they go potty is not a concern. It's actually very normal. Puppies have a very sensitive stomach to any change. We can actually put them in one pen and put them in another pen right next to it for cleaning. And they can literally... Um, have blood in their stool instantly because of that little bit of change. So, uh, but I want, the food thing is that you wanna do a dish of dry and you wanna do a dish of dry that's moistened with water. Sometimes you could do a third dish that's very soupy with food in it as well. A lot of times they're more apt to drink that more than their regular water. Uh, but of course you have to have a bowl of water as well. And most dogs are very monkey see, monkey do or monkey hear, monkey do. And if there's another dog around, or if you're actually buying your second dog, you'll find that they train a lot easier, they eat and drink a lot better because they're following the other dog. Generally, if other dogs are eating the food, they will. But if it's your only dog, then of course, what you're gonna wanna do is be there to splash the water three or four times a day and stand there and keep putting them in front of it because they get distracted. Keep putting them in front of it. Now, when they first get to your house, don't worry about it for a couple or so hours. Uh, everything is new. It's kind of scary there. Um, hopefully we let you spend a lot of time with the puppy before you took them home because that does help with the stress of the car ride and the big change and all this big scary, you know, new everything. Everything is brand new to them. Think about that. Uh, they just came from mama to being weaned to our house to all of a sudden um, your house and getting in the car. It's, it's scary. It's all just think about it when you're five years old. If you parents put you at a home where you didn't know anybody, you were probably crying or upset, or maybe you played with some kids, but you're super duper nervous. So it's really important to make sure they're eating and drinking at least within about four or five hours. If not, you need to call us. We've got all the little tricks. One of them is that you take their hard food and you can actually toss it across the floor. They like to chase after it and then ultimately eat it. Um, see, it's more of a challenge. So having the food in the dish isn't a challenge either. So it's really great to take that food out of the dish and actually sprinkle it on the floor in front of the dish. And that'll help them eat it as well, the dry and the moistened uh, piece. And sometimes you could take the moistened and put it in your hand and they'll eat it out of that. Um, but yeah, but stand there and keep playing with it, stir it, that sort of thing, and say, come on, come on, and then keep putting them in front of it. Eventually, they'll usually eat. Now, if you've got a dog that absolutely won't eat um, and you feel that it's gone on maybe too many hours or all day, definitely call or text us. It's pretty rare that that happens because eventually they almost always start eating as long as you're going over to their food and water. So um, keep that in mind. Um, there is kind of sometimes we'll have them go on a red meat diet with some pumpkin. Pumpkin really calms their stomach. Maybe add a little bit of rice or veggies if you want to. It's a super healthy way and the puppies typically will eat it right up. Uh, but if you feel that your dog's getting lethargic, usually they just get plain and simple tired. Then just call us. Uh, again, so rare that whatever happened, they get low blood sugar because they're not eating. They would have to go plenty of hours um, before that would happen typically, maybe a whole day, two days. Then what happens is they slow down on eating and then they stop drinking they can get dehydrated. So it's super important to have some caro syrup on hand or maple syrup, ultimately maybe even third choice honey to put on their gums. Uh, that can activate their appetite actually and it keeps their blood sugar up until they start eating or drinking. So that is one other idea about the food part. So again, please, if in doubt, call us. Uh, we never want a dog to uh, get low blood sugar at that point. So uh, puppies are a little bit more susceptible to that. But um, don't worry too much. Um, they can sense that you're worrying, so be relaxed. They will eat and drink typically 99% of the time eventually. Okay? Enjoy your little sweetie pie. Bye.